Hello everyone, I am Prasad from Structural Guy. Today we are going to discuss about the method of constructing footing correctly. As you can see here in this uh, image, you can see a lot of errors in the construction. So is this the correct way to construct a footing? Let's begin with the errors that have been done in this construction. So if you pour the concrete into this kind of a condition your foundation will be a disaster it won't last it would get cracked and reinforcement may get corroded and your service life may be reduced therefore when you do the construction you have to make sure it's done correctly what are the major errors so first thing we can discuss is the screen you can see there no screed has been placed so we will discuss later what are the purposes of the screed and how it is done no screed so as you can see here mostly uh, there is no side foam work you can see there no side foam work they are planning to put the concrete into this no foam work and also this rebar is touching the soil it's touching so no adequate cover it's also a major concern because durability is depend on the cover to the rain so it's a, a highly influence factor cover is therefore we have to make sure cover is there you can see the supports of the foam work this can move anyway therefore there's no proper mechanism to support this foam work so you can see here the cover blocks is this acceptable so very poor construction techniques so they have put stones there to act as a cover blocks it's a terrible construction so if you do this kind of a construction your structure or your building will be goes into a very huge mesh therefore let's see what are what are the correct method of doing the construction of this kind of footing i have drawn here a section of the footing and the plan of the footing this is the plan so as we discussed previously the there are major things to be addressed when you do the construction of it first thing is you need to do the excavation and you have to make sure there is an adequate gap in this area for the work as a working space and fixing the formwork etc so first thing once you do the uh, construction what you need what you need to do is you have to lay the screen i make it bit larger for your ease of your understanding so you have to make screen like this in this area so this would be in the range of 50 to 75 mm mostly for smaller footings we go with the 50 mm screen What's the purpose of the screen? Now, as you can see, once you play the screen, place the screen there, your footing surface will be a flat surface, right? As you saw the previously, if you are not, if you don't have a level surface, it will be like this. It's a very irregular surface. What will happen when there is a irregular surface? So your footing will be like this like this so your load axial load column load will be applied like this this footing will be bent like this right so it will be bent like this so you have a tension in this surface so you have a tension in the surface so if this surface is irregular what happen is your crack will easily form here so if your crack will penetrate up to the reinforcement and you have harmful chemicals in this soil or in the water they can easily penetrate into the reinforcement and corrosion might start so you see if you will chlorine is there it can easily penetrate in the reinforcement putting reinforcement will get corroded so your service life will be reducing therefore it's we must place a screed when you do the footing correctly so you have to fix the side foam work correctly you can't fix it into the soil 
right you can't fix because it's again will be a regular thing so the rural reinforcement will be like this so we have to put the cow blocks adequately right you have to put the cow blocks specially made cow box so generally this cow block should have the same grade as the concrete of the footing so that's a practice in in the side also you better put cow blocks then the your cage won't be moving so once you do the reinforcement work you have to do the cleaning here before concreting so when you put the reinforcement work also you have to make sure this your column will be there you have to do the setting now so once you do the setting out correctly then your column will be on the correct position you have to make sure that is correct position because if it is in the wrong position there will be a huge issue as i discussed previously at the beginning of uh, this video there are severe concerns the cow screed side bar side uh, cow blocks reinforcement arrangement etc so therefore you have to keep in mind the risk inherent with the poor construction work therefore you have to make sure the construction is done proper way so with that i'm going to end today discussion on construction best construction practices on the footings so let's meet again from new video thank you very much for watching our videos